Hello everyone, welcome to- oh. What is up with this lighting? Hold on. Welcome to Natalie's Dolls. Today I'm going to be making a room for my doll, Felicia. But let's, let's, let's do this. So first off, this thing that I'm using as the room walls is a foam trifold. Trifolds for me work the best for doll rooms because if I'm not using it, I could just store it really easily. Just ignore this cardboard. This is not part of it. It's just I need a flat surface to put everything on and this cardboard thing is working best. So let's go. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just putting the bed in here. This is the bed. This is a very professionally made mattress. It's so professionally done. There's holes in it. But I'm adding this on top of the box to make it a bit more soft to sample. I'm going to use that as the bedding. And then I made these two pillows. It doesn't cover this. I don't think that matters that much because I'm not even going to be filming from this angle. I'm filming from this angle. This is literally a pillow from the watch case thing. And then I've got these two pillow things that I made very skillfully. I am someone who loves pillows, so I'm putting lots of pillows here for Felicia. <laughs> no. The next thing I'm going to do is start adding posters. I have a lot of these that I've made and that I've cut out of boxes. I don't really know what I want, but we'll see. I've also got this Harley Quinn keychain that I got, like... Oh my god, was it like seven years ago? I'm gonna take, unscrew the thing. I'm gonna put this on the bed, like a plushie. I'm a genius. I'm gonna put this on here. Oh my god, it's falling. This is a, a nightstand, is what I'm gonna say it is. I have a little bit of foam board that I could make furniture with, but honestly though, I'm lazy. So I'm not going to. Maybe I'll make some later, but for now, this is what we're working with. Now it's time to clutter up the walls. So it could look like my room. I'm going to be starting off with these bigger posters. Actually, I don't like this movie that much. These are from action figure boxes. I'm for sure using this poster that I made because I'm too proud of myself to not use it. Because, like, look at it. It looks so good. This I cut out from the back of the box of my cow Funko Pop. This is my favorite Star Wars character ever, and one of my favorite fictional characters ever. These are from like a while ago, maybe seven years ago I printed these out. And the only reason I'm using this one is because it has Quicksilver on it, and Quicksilver is my favorite character from the X-Men movies. Don't rip. Don't rip. Oh my gosh, no, don't rip. Why is this so hard? Oh my gosh. Somebody send help because I'm having trouble with stickers. Oh, I got it. Don't rip. I hope I put it on straight. I don't really think it's straight, but I don't want to take it off because I'm afraid I'm going to rip the phone board. You know what, I don't think of it. I don't really like the way this looks, so I'm really gonna move it all again. So I ended up rearranging most of it, and now I'm gonna do this side. I have this little record player that I made, and I'm gonna put this on this table nightstand thing. And since that's where the record's going, I'm gonna add the band posters that I made on this wall. I got this little Pink Floyd symbol. Um, it's a tag from a shirt that I got. So I'm gonna put this on the wall too.
On this side, I'm going to add this. It's supposed to be a TV. Then so that this wall isn't so empty, I'm going to be adding these um, Marvel posters. I forgot the word. I'm watching Prince of Egypt while doing this. This is the seat that I made, and it's kind of messy. You can see spots of hot glue. Oops. Whatever, it'll have to do. Also, I have this little storm thing. It's not focusing. I've had this for like so many years. I don't even know where it's from. It's probably from a little machine thing, vending machine, not wedding machine, like machines that you put your quarters in. I don't know what those are called. I got these LED light strips and I'm going to put them around. Now I'm going to turn off the lights and turn on the LED lights and see how it works. But first, I've got this. This is when I was trying to learn how to knit. And as you can see, it's still on the knitting needle. But um, I'm going to take it off. I hope this is locked in place. I don't know how leaning works. Okay. I took it off. And I'm gonna put it on the bed. Like, um... Add some... I'm putting it on the bed to add some texture. It's, it's like a little blanket. Okay. I'm kind of scared. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna turn the lights off and see if the LED lights work. They look good. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you come back for my next video, see you then. If not, bye. <laughs>